This is EarthHeart, and here is Michael. Welcome to EarthHeart, the pulse of the planet, news you can use. You know, a lot changed in the world with 9-11. Within days, the Patriot Act was passed. Obviously, this huge 500-page bill was sitting on somebody's shelf, waiting for the right moment in time. But in a twisted fate of numbers, the world may find that 11-9 will be perhaps even more important to our lives. For on November 9th, Americans elected someone to be their leader that no one seriously considered to be capable of doing the job. And as he was inaugurated, it became even more apparent. Here's a man who would be more concerned about his crowds than becoming the man a people would need. On this day, he told a nervous world that from now on, from this day, it will be America first. Think about that. America first. Not justice, not liberty, not the elimination of poverty, not even an age of peace and prosperity. No, he proclaimed to the interconnected, unified world the people of the Republic of the United States would no longer hold these values ahead of their own national interest. He proclaimed that we are in this for ourselves. We will no longer be a beacon of light, but instead hide behind a great wall. Not just a wall, but a wall that he would have another people build. A wall of insensitivity and lack of empathy for the rest of the planet that we all share. For he would build a wall which is blind to the physics of climate change. He would build a wall that separates us from reality. He'd build a wall and tax ourselves with import tariffs, and by so doing, lower taxes on the wealthy and increase them on the poorest among them. We would build a wall between us and our allies and we would build a wall, a wall that confuses science and disinformation, facts and alternative facts, news and fake news. Yes, 11-9 may turn out to be even more world-changing than 9-11. For one of our Earth's greatest peoples have taken a giant leap backwards. And that small 75,000 vote victory in those three states amongst a three million vote loss grows larger and larger. As a man of the people who builds skyscrapers and private clubs and golf courses for the rich, tries to undo decades of well-considered laws and progress by pointing people who would rather do away with those agencies than oversee them and run them honestly in the name of the people that they have pledged to serve. One foundation of his policy is that for each regulation that is passed, there must be two eliminated. Replace protection with regulation in that sentence. Does it make sense that in order to add a protection, you must give up two other protections that you now have? That if you are a woman and you want equal treatment in the marketplace, you must give up your right to vote and the right to health care? And what pathologically uninformed man would endanger our mothership by not dealing with the greatest crisis of our time, climate change? And what level of absurdity have we reached where the former leader of the world's greatest carbon emitter and carbon denier now runs the greatest State Department on Earth? A policy of America first in this time where global cooperation is essential to our survival is not just wrong, it verges on the suicidal. This cannot be a time of servitude to political parties for it must be a time of nation over party and a time for earth over nation. This is Earth Heart, news you can use, the pulse of the planet. Earth Heart is produced by Michael Osborne in cooperation with James College.